Netflix and I'm back with another video. Didn't I tell y'all I was gonna be more consistent on YouTube? Didn't I tell y'all? So what am I doing? Being more consistent? <laughs> yeah. Give me a round of applause right now. So if y'all see me absolutely munching in this video, I'm so sorry. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten all day. Um, I don't even think I ate dinner last night. But today I got voodoo wings. I mean, not voodoo wings, voodoo fries. I have never got voodoo fries before. Is this the fries? Oh no, this is the wings. Hold on. Where's the sauce for the wings? These look like dry chicken nuggets. This is not the, oh no, nah, this is, nah. She messed up my order. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, no, no. Um, y'all, these are supposed to be the hot honey rub, but there's no rub on them. They just look like dry chicken nuggets. I'm gonna have to call them about that. I'm gonna still eat them because I'm starving right now, but I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Okay, let me see these wings. I mean, these fries. Oh my gosh. Ooh, the fries look busting. I was finna really go off. I thought they forgot my ranch. Y'all know ranch is the most important part of the Wingstop experience. Anyways, where do I even start with this story? Um, so it all started when this little boy, I say little boy because no man tries to set a woman up. That's weird. You're weird. Um, oh, these are busting. Pressure. I really don't think that the hot honey rub is supposed to look like this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna taste it, but. They don't taste like anything. I had to make sure it's cooked because it's like super chewy. But anyways, so yeah, he's sending my DMs and mm, new favorite fries. Oh my gosh. Those are so good. So he's sending my DMs and he was like, Hey, how are you? Uh, I'm like being super flirtatious. And I saw that we had mutual following. Like some of my friends follow, some of his friends, you know. So I was like, hmm, okay. So I followed him. And I was like, what's up? Like, who are you? <laughs> And he was like, oh, um, we went to school together. I was like, we did? Because I feel like I knew everybody at school and I never saw him a day in my life, but. He was like, yeah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay. So then we're talking and next thing you know, he starts getting real flirtatious, like out of nowhere. I was like, that's weird. That's weird. He was like calling me beautiful. How he wants to hang out. And take me to dinner. Oh, it's like, where did this energy come from? I mean, he's openly being persistent about, oh, I want to see you. I want to hang out. I want to, um, you know, Take you to dinner, all this kind of stuff. And I was like, hmm. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Every time I go out with a new guy, I never go alone. I always just make my friend come or, I don't know. Because you don't know nowadays. You don't know who you're dealing with. You don't know who you're trying to get to. And all that kind of stuff. So. I was like. After like three days. I was dry texting him. Because I really didn't want to talk to him. Because I was already talking to this boy. 
And me, I don't like to be talking to 10, 20 different guys at the same time. Like, I'm more of like a just one, one dude kind of girl. So, I was like, you know what? Fine. Fine. We can go out. Whatever. But I made my friend come with me. But I didn't tell him that she was coming. So, he was like, okay, I'll pick you up. I was like, whoa. No. One thing I don't let people do is pick me up. Because, first of all, I don't want you to know where I live. Second of all, I don't want you to know where I live. And third of all, I don't want you to know where I live. So I was like, no, I'll meet you at the restaurant. So we went to Olive Garden. And, um, while we're at Olive Garden, he seemed real, like, timid, you know? Like, he, like, something, I don't know, like, something was just off. You know when the energy is just off? The energy was very much off. So, <clears throat> so my friend had texted me that she's here. And I was like, okay, thank God. Because the energy was off. I felt weird. I knew she would make me feel better. So she comes in. And she comes up to the table. And he's like, who's this? And I'm like, oh, this is my best friend. And I was like, here, come sit with us. And he was like, this is our date. What is she doing here? And I was like, this is my friend. She shouldn't be here. She can come. And he was like, no, she can't. She has to go. Oh, this is supposed to be our time. But it's really weird. And I was like, what's really going on here? Is there, like, what's wrong? Like, what's, what's good? Like, your energy is weird. You're acting timid. Like, what's wrong? He was like, I'm nervous to be with you. And it's supposed to be our time and you're inviting friends over here and la la. And I was like, it's fine. You know, if it's not that big of a deal. He was like, yes it is, you have to go la la. So, I was like, nah. I'm not feeling the vibes because why is it such a big deal that she's here? Like, and she's gonna, you know, eat with us. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go. I was like, I'm going go. You said you're going to handle the bill. Handle the bill. Come on. So I got my friend. And we left. And he's trying to chase me down. No, don't leave. Please. I'm sorry. Freaking stay. I'm like, no. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Go ahead. Do you. This man starts begging me, bro. Please don't go. We were having such a good time. Well, you might have been having a good time. I wasn't having a good time. So, after begging and begging and literally pulling us to come back to the table, we came back. I didn't finish my food. So, I, kept, I went back and started eating. You know, I asked for another bowl of salad. <laughs> because if you're going to keep me hostage here, I'm going to eat. That's what. If you don't keep me hostage, I'm gonna eat. That's all I'm gonna say. So I ate in town full. I think I did. I get a dessert. Yeah, I did. I got that uh that chocolate mousse Thai cake. <laughs> that was so good. I sure did eat. So anyways, it was time to go. And I don't know. I just felt weird. He was like, let's go to a movie. Me and you. He was just trying to uh, go get ice cream and stuff. When I had just ate a freaking dessert cake, he was just trying to get me to be alone. So that's when I started suspecting something fishy. I was like, no, I'm not gonna leave my friend. Oh. Uh, so as we're leaving the restaurant, me, I always be looking around. And if I go, I'm looking. I'm like, hmm. Be alert of your surroundings, guys. And I see this car full of what was his friends 
And I'm like, damn, I whispered to my friend, I'm like, do you see that? Like, do you see those guys in there? And two of them, I had on ski masks. Two in the front. And one of them, it was two in the front and I think one in the back. Maybe there was two. I don't really remember. This was a long time ago. So, I see them and they're staring hard. But, I guess they don't see that I'm seeing. Or I don't think I'm smart enough to be seeing what's going on. I'm like, no, Leah, don't overthink. Don't overthink. What what could this man do to you? Like, you're good. Don't overthink. Um, it turns out he could do a lot. Could have did a lot. <laughs> So, um, he's like, okay, well, I guess your friend can come. So, he gives both of us a ride. And we go to this little, like, cookies. Af what is it called? Great Great American cookies. Yeah, yeah. Great American cookies. And he was like, okay, y'all, not get something, you know. But I could tell that he really didn't want her to be there, you know. But I was like, hmm, Okay. So he was like, okay, we're going to drop her back to her car, and then I'll need you to stay in the car when I talk to you. I was like, okay. But I told her, I was like, stay close, you know, wait until I leave to leave. So, and, oh, I forgot to tell y'all, that same car that had been waiting there was still there. And the restaurant that Olive Garden had already closed, and that same car was still there. Still there. So I went with him. And so he kind of took me, that car was there. He kind of took me on the side. And she was still waiting. And I, the whole time I'm on go, I'm ready. <sighs> and so he's talking to me, talking to me, talking to me. Y'all won't get it unless I show y'all. They're here. My friend is here. We're here. I just felt like something was going to happen. I don't know if they were trying to rob me. If they were trying to do some crazy stuff to me but they start two of them the two of the ski masks on start walking to the car and my friend literally comes full speed <laughs> cuts them off right there um comes bangs on the window boom 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 Leah, let's go these two guys are walking up to the car um so i get in her car <laughs> we go back to my car um i get in my car and that was that both me and my friend both drive off and i'm just like what was finna go down what if it wasn't for my friend which if it wasn't for her staying i would not have went because i was like i mean i did kind of just a little bit itty 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 bit like him and he did just buy our meals and a cookie so i felt and some cookies for us so i felt kind of bad which is why i went but I don't know what was finna go down between this and this and this. Between the friends and him. I don't know what was finna go down, but I'm so thankful for her. Find y'all some ride or die friends who will be in predicaments like this. Just in case something like this happens. Um. So yeah, so then he texted me. He was like, oh, I don't know what y'all thought. Those was my homeboys. Those are your homeboys with ski masks acting crazy please please what i think was gonna happen is he was gonna act like he didn't know them you know and he was gonna act like i don't know i guess he was gonna let them like rob me rob us rob us and then they was gonna split the money and something i don't know that's what i assumed would have happened but he didn't thank god and, um, yeah, ever since then, I don't go out unless at least 10 people got my location. Um, everybody knows where I'm at. Uh, what else? I can do a background check on you. I've known you for a while. We've been talking for months. Yeah, I don't, I don't just go out with any and everybody anymore. Mm -mm. Nah, that trust issues is up here buddy trust issues yeah so yeah that was a really 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 crazy time um but i'm kind of i'm not glad it happened but like you know it helped me because 
you know, you never know what people are going to do out here. So, all right, being said, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Join our family. Why not? So, yeah, I love y'all. Stay safe, stay alert, everything. Just see y'all in the next video.